What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ant217 and it's May. And for the people in the art world, that means Mermaid. And for those of you who don't know what that is yet, it's an art challenge, kind of like Inktober where every day of the month you draw something in ink. But this time, you draw mermaids. And I absolutely hate it. <laughs> don't get me wrong, some people are making some amazing works but there are just so many mermaids on my feed. And Disney, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but Disney is releasing the Little Mermaid movie this month. So I figured if you can't beat them, join them. So today, I'm gonna draw the Little Mermaid with the help of my friend Carl. Say hi, Carl. Hi, I'm Carl. <laughs> Let's get started. So to start, like always, I go with my sketch, but Carl is here to help me, so I figured What's the best way to get Carl to help me? Hmm. I know. Chop his head off. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Carl. But thanks for your help. I'm going to use Carl's tail as my Little Mermaid's tail. So I continue with my sketch, trying to get a good sketch down for my Little Mermaid. And I decided to draw both versions of the Little Mermaid the lovable little cartoon one, and now the beautiful live action Little Mermaid. Holly Bailey looks absolutely stunning as Little Mermaid and she can sing. Did you hear the voice in the trailer? Now, I'm not a big fan of the Little Mermaid to begin with, but I am gonna see the live action because I love Disney's live action movies and Holly Bailey sounds incredible. So I continue with my sketch. Also, I manipulate Carl to, um, kind of match the composition that I want. And try to capture her beautiful hair kind of looks like dreads and kind of looks like coral in some parts i don't really know but it looks amazing and i thought it was a brilliant design choice and i don't really remember too much about the little mermaid but i do remember her having this um fixation on things one thing in particular being a fork so i give her a giant fork when I'm done with my sketch, I move on to the inks using a variation of thick and thin lines. Variation is very important here. You want a variety of line weights. It makes the line art look amazing. And it makes you look professional. We're professionals over here. I do change the way Carl's tail looks because Carl's tail didn't look beautiful. Hey. Sorry, Carl. But I use inks to go over the tail and I'm gonna continue to manipulate the tail to match my inks. When I'm done with the inks and I'm happy with the way they came out, I add the colors. To do that, I just use the paint bucket and drop the colors right in, separating the colors in different layers. And I know right now she is bald, but I'm going to fix that later. I've never drawn dreads before and I didn't know how to tackle it. So I just waited a bit and kind of thought about it. But I ended up using a nice hair brush that I found on Photoshop. But yeah, she's not going to be bald forever. She's going to get hair. I know right now she kind of looks like... Keep my wife's name out your mouth! I <laughs> I move over to Photoshop and change the color of Carl's tail to match the design that I like and the design of The Little Mermaid. I change the color balance to make it more blue, play with the curves to change the colors a little bit more, and then I use the filter gallery in Photoshop. Now in filter gallery you have a lot of presets. I usually go with the cutout preset. It makes it look more like a, like a comic book style, makes it look more cell shaded, which is the style that I render in anyway. After I keep playing with Carl's tail a little bit, then, um, did that sound weird? 
playing with Carl's tail. After I keep adjusting Carl's tail a little bit and I finally like the way it looks, I move on to the hair. Finally, I move on to my favorite part, the rendering. I use a combination of cell shading and a more painterly look to capture the style that I love. First, using a light, soft brush to kind of map out where I want the shadows to be, and then using a harder brush to block in the more opaque shadows. I add a lot of light coming from above because, well, they're underwater and the sun is above them. And I also wanted to make the character pop. The extra lighting around the edges really looks good. And I love the way it separates the character from the background. I add some more rendering to the fork. Add some reflections because the fork is metal and it will reflect things around it and work on adding more things to the background. I felt like the background was a little bit boring, so I added some rocks, some bubbles, some fish, and some more lighting to the, to the top of the water so it makes it look more like water. I add some of my finishing touches, and here it is, My Little Mermaid, with the help of Carl. I love the way this one came out. I just wish Carl could be here to, to see it. Hi, I'm Carl. <laughs> Again, I love the way it came out. I hope I captured the beauty that is the Little Mermaid, both versions of her, and I hope you all like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on watching the movie, and if you see this in the future and it's already out, did you love it? Was it awesome? Let me know. Also, let me know what other characters you would like to see me draw, and um... Anybody who wants to say some nice, kind words for our fallen hero, Carl, please feel free to do so. Like and subscribe, hit the bell, and remember, I'm awesome. I think. Thanks for watching.